Funko Pops have been around for a lot longer than most people think. The business originally started out in 1998, producing generic bobblehead figurines, but they didn't find much success in doing so. It was only once the company produced Austin Power bobbleheads that they actually see positive sales. So they continued on with this trend, releasing their own vinyl line in 2010, where they saw massive success producing iconic movie and TV show characters. And well since then they've only grown with time, as the company has pushed their figurines into almost every festival, including massive ones like Comic-Con. With a company so large producing so many figurines, many people begin trying to collect the first prototype molds from the manufacturer. These prototypes are unpainted molds that are used to demonstrate the design before it is mass produced. For the most part, these figurines are just showcasing various attributes of a character and are given from the manufacturer to the higher ups at Funko for approval. Once approved, the process pushes forward and the figurines are painted and given their respective box arts. Now as you can expect, these prototypes are worth a lot of money, and while that means a lot of scammers and frauds see the potential to make some quick cash. So I decided to purchase a so-called prototype off eBay and spend the money so you don't have to. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I did on eBay was cruise through the auctions, and I was very surprised by just how many I was seeing and most of them looking to be coming from the same set of sellers. Now I didn't want to break the bank on buying a most likely fake prototype, so I just went for one that was cheaper, and I managed to land on the supposed John Wick prototype which even included the little dog. I saw the auction was ending soon and I managed to snag it for $43 US. Upon winning the auction, I messaged the seller to get some more information on the figurine and see what he had to say. Here's what he told me. The conversation begins with, Hello, just to be sure, this is a real prototype, right? In which he responds, Of course. So I say, Do you work for the factory that makes them? How did you get it if you don't mind me asking? And then he sends me four pictures and says, Can you see these photos? Usually people cannot take these pictures. And I said, Yeah, awesome, thanks. I paid for it. Was just curious. And then on April 16th, a few weeks later, I follow up and I say, Hey, quick question, what factory produces these prototypes? And he says, do you want to trouble it? I say, sorry, what? What do you mean? He says, sorry, I won't tell anyone the name of the factory. I said, oh, okay, but I've heard about factories replicating prototypes. Is this one of those cases? And he says, I have never heard of factories copying. There is no need for the factory to replicate separately. The risk is just too high. After producing a batch of pops, the mold is basically sealed, and there are Funko staff in the factory who are available to inspect it at any time. So I said, I see, but don't they provide a form of authenticity, etc., so people know the prototypes are the real deal, or is that just not done anymore? And he said, at different stages of the production process, different prototypes will be produced. Sometimes Funkos will take away and sell the most perfect prototype that has been finalized, and then the remaining prototypes the factory will handle themselves. So he's basically saying that there are multiple prototypes made, but many people online have said otherwise. So here's the actual likelihood of what the seller on eBay is doing. Factories in China are outsourced to produce mass quantities of Funko Pops, and during the manufacturing process, certain Funko Pops end up with errors or failed quality of standards. Now the Funko Pop company states that the factory will dispose of those imperfect Funkos, but that's not actually the case. Usually what happens is you get people who work for the factory known as scrapers, because they take these faulty Funko Pops and list them on eBay as prototypes and many people believe these things to be prototypes because they are never painted due to being a faulty print. Now with that in mind, I will show you the supposed prototype I received. So taking a look here, we can see that the package did come from China, and I'm not faking anything. You can also see that it says Funko on the label. I cut up these clips a bit since I don't have a tripod, so I basically had to do all this one-handed, but as you can see, I did get down to the final product. Now with the Funko Pops out, we can see both aren't painted, and there's a little bit of labeling on John Wick's foot to indicate he did come from Funko, which shouldn't be a surprise as he definitely came from the real factory, but it's a scraped one. Besides the labeling on the foot, there isn't much else besides a small amount of brownish blackish paint residue on the dog. Uh, now moving away from the figure here, another way I can confirm that this Funko is in fact not a real prototype is just by looking at eBay and seeing how a real John Wick prototype sold for $175 US in January, and while it doesn't resemble mine really at all. So it's safe to say that this Funko I received is obviously not the real deal. And please keep in mind, there are other fraudulent ways that these fake prototypes are entering the market, such as people stripping off the paint from regular Funko Pops and using chemicals and stripping agents. But for the most part, it seems like a vast majority of the fake prototypes on eBay at least are just manufactured errors left unpainted. And that's where I'm going to leave this for now. 
I'm very interested to hear what you guys think as I don't actually collect Funko Pops, so I know very little about them. I just thought this was a topic I couldn't find much discussion on, so it was worth going over. Anyways, with that said, please subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.